Hi, this is Hassan from CSScast.com, and in this episode, I'm going to show you how to add drop down elements to your horizontal CSS menu. Now, this is a follow up from eons ago, from a couple of weeks ago, where I mean, my last episode was a simple horizontal menu. Um, what had happened is that my Dell laptop screen shattered, I could not make any episodes, and long story short, I got my iMac from the office, and I'll be resuming to show some great. CSS in the near near future. So let's let's continue from the horizontal CSS menu that I have here that I've created. And you can see all the links called items, and my HTML is right here. And inside the body, I just have an unordered list with the ID nav, which targets all the link elements. And I'll just give these a number. So therefore. I know which link is which. I know I can make them an order list, which will give them a number, but for time purposes, I'll just put them in like this. Refresh, and now we know which box is which. The style I have connected to my style.css, and when we go in here, I've given my unordered list a padding of zero. Uh, display block, the width is 500 pixel, and the position is relative. The li inside the nav, I've given a little bit style so we can differentiate between the boxes so they're not clumped together. Uh, you can see the width is 80 pixels. I've got a margin right of 10 pixels each. They're all floating left. This way they, they come beside each other as discussed in the last episode. And I've given each one a border um, with a black color, one pixel, and it's solid. So now let's add a second uh, menu item. Now in order to do this, we want to make sure that the second uh, second uh, navigation that we're adding, which is a sub-navigation, is also an unordered list so we just have the same structure. And you'll see later on why we're going to make it an unordered list because there's a very neat CSS trick that we use to make it a drop-down. Uh, we don't have to use any JavaScript here, this is just going to be plain, simple HTML and CSS. So let's go ahead and make a second unordered list. We'll give it a class of sub nav there we go close it for me and we'll add another list item in here for our sub links oh that as you can see a little bit of frustration from just typing it out it happens sometimes so I'll call this sub link and now I've created one I'll just create another one over here and look at my uh, HTML and Safari so as you can see the sub menus that I've created show up right here sub link one sub link one let me just make that two so it's just easier on the eyes to read so as you can see here is a sub menu and you here's the main nav navigation up top but the problem is our sub navigation is showing and I only want this to show when I go over items one not items two three four five but only when I go over items one so now let's go into our CSS and hide the sub nav we call the sub nav by using the class selector and right now it's displaying so we'll use display none when we do that, our, you see that our menu is our sub navigation is gone and our original navigation is being shown. Now we want to find a trick to show the sub navigation only when I go over the first link or wherever the link could be. It could be in this and the second uh, second link, or third link, fourth or fifth. But we want to make sure that there's um, a systematic way that when you go over any of these links, you will see uh, the sub navigation. So in order to do that, we have to use a really neat trick called hover on the list item. This is basically saying that what action you want when you hover over the list item. As you can see, this box right here is one list item. So when I go over this, I just have to dictate what I want it to show. So when I'm hovering over the LI, I want to select the sub navigation and I want to display it. So I'll go display block. Let's see what happens now. Hit refresh. And I'm going over the fifth, fourth, third, the second link. Notice that I only added in the first one. So when I go over the first one, there you go. It shows up. Voila. 
This happens because it looks for the subnavigation class inside the li, which is inside the inverted list nav. So when you hover over the list element, it'll look for the subnavigation class and then it'll display it. And as you can see in our HTML, the subnav only belongs to the first uh, first list item. If I were to put this in the fifth one, it'll still work because now there's a class called subnav inside the fifth list item and therefore it'll display the block. So I'll refresh here again and look, it shows up over there and over here as well. So that's just a neat trick to basically using CSS to have drop down menus instead of adding all JavaScript code in their head and and making your document a lot more confusing than it needs to be, you can use a simple li hover um, I, uh, attribute to show drop-down menus. I hope this helped you. Um, next week, I'm, I'm planning on getting into more, much more tougher topics and um, solving some more problems. Sorry for not being in touch for the last couple of weeks, but due to my laptop, um, I have to get it fixed now. I'm going to be back in and creating more episodes for you that you like. Uh, you can email us at cssscats at gmail.com, and I'll be setting up an email shortly. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a good time doing CSS.